Hey guys and welcome back. So in this video I want to continue um, yeah, the work on my Rectal Test 101. Um, I said something about maybe not uh, continuing this project but I thought it would uh, make good sense to add a few uh, improvements to this. So one of them <clears throat> is going to be um, the way uh, we handle the capsule and right now we have this set up uh, uh, so that um, when we go back uh, into normal non uh, ragdoll state we have to reattach the capsule to the the mesh and reposition it and um, one way of avoiding that is to <clears throat> actually I mentioned this in in the previous video but uh, I went away, for, away from it um, but I'm gonna do it anyway. So inside the physics asset, I'm gonna reintroduce this uh, root uh, root rigid body uh, like this, and I'm gonna set the collision response to disabled and set this to kinematic. And the key for getting this to work is to go to the pelvis and under constraints. Um, and li linear uh, limits set this to free. Um, so he falls again as he should. Okay, so now we can um, <clears throat> we can remove this part here, so we don't have to reattach him uh, again. And connect this up. And let's test this out. Okay, so as you can see, he's doing something weird now. And uh, the problem is because we still technically can move. And the way to handle this, um, last time I made, um, I renamed this to call from uh, sleeping to his death instead. Um, but um, we had some logic set up for that. Uh, but instead of um, just setting uh, um, the state to uh, is dead, then once we go into Ragdoll, we um, want to disable movement control. So we do that by dragging in the movement component and set movement. I can spell to none and we need to remember to set this back to um, to walking when we return <clears throat> so we want to do that once we are finished um, with the with the recovery so set that back to walking so now when we jump off the ledge here we still have our collision capsule as we can see connected to us all right so that's one little improvement i think it simplifies things quite a bit and actually we don't really need um uh, i'm not really sure we need that part with the let's try and test this out so we have this stuff here last from last time i like to keep things simple so if i don't really need it i i want to remove it um, so let's disable this for a moment um, jump off here So right now it looks like he's um, um, he's acting okay. One thing also I want to um, address here is uh, the fact that uh, if you notice, um, you can see that uh, since we put the the collision capsule uh, at the location of the pelvis, uh, what happens when I press uh, back to go back 
from Ragdoll is that he's gonna stand up in the air a little bit and then jump down, uh, or snap down to the ground. And that's um, actually kind of a problem. Um, okay, I'm, I'm not sure you can see this, but um, it's quite obvious. Okay, there you saw it, <clears throat> I hope. So, um, oh, okay. Um, so actually we don't really need this right now, it seems, since we now disable so, um, the movement state. Uh, so I think I'm actually gonna, uh, let's see, yeah, I think I'm gonna get rid of this. So get rid of is dead and move this over. And then let's also disable this check over here from the, the event check. And um, see, find references. Okay, so delete. And then we can also remove this part here. And we can reintroduce this one last time. So let's get rid of that also. <coughs> And then we are back to normal again. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. Let's give it a test one more, one more time. Okay. So um, the 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 location of the collision capsule we want to make a little adjustment to. And uh, the thing is, right now we just set it, as I said, to the pelvis plus the offset. Uh, the thing is, uh, we actually need to set the collision capsule to the ground, um, but relative to the pelvis. So, um, <clears throat> what we need to do is to say, instead of the pelvis plus the offset, we need to, um, let's disconnect this, first of all, and move this out. So, we need to set it to, um, um, let me just check something. I have some notes. Uh, no, I don't. I thought I had some notes about it. Okay. Um, anyway, when you, uh, I want to do this by making a trace uh, down from his pelvis and see if I hit something. And if I hit something, then I want to uh, interp uh, interpret that value to. Um, um, yeah, uh, the current value to the new value, the, the hit location. Okay, this is going to make more sense in a moment. So we need um, one variable, uh, a vector, to hold the, um, the location um, where he should lie down. And we need a location to hold the interping value. So this is going to be the capsule location. <clears throat> okay, so um, <clears throat> let's see. Um, if we hit, we uh, well, we want to start by making this trace. So this is still going to be our starting point. Um, or actually, this. It's going to be, let's see, no, the pelvis is going to be the starting point of the trace. Uh, and since this is the location where he's lying down, we want to trace down just a, a small bit and see if we hit something. So um, let's see, we can make a line trace. Right channel, oops, not that one. This one. So this is going to be the beginning and the end is going to be, um, damn, I need more space. Uh, well, it's going to be the, the, um, the direction down. So uh, we want to trace directly down. So the way to do this is to type vector times float. So um, this, the 
this is going to be the distance and the direction for directly down is going to be minus one um, <clears throat> so we add these two together and that's going to give us uh, the end position to check for um, so we can connect this up mm. Okay, and if we hit something, um, then we want to make this check here and say, uh, okay, so if we, let's say, let's take the, the false part first. So if we don't hit anything, then actually we're just going to use uh, the pelvis plus the offset as our location uh, because that's the best. Um, <clears throat> position that we have. So, for example, if he is uh, flying through the air, um, he's gonna. We, we're gonna just use the pelvis plus the offset. Um, so, we'll type plus and give it this offset here. Um, so that's gonna be our lying uh, location. Uh, Maybe capture. Well, I can't really decide which one. Okay, I think I'm going to use this one. So this is going to be where the ca capsule. Yeah. Okay. Um. So yeah, the false part is is when uh, we are falling in the air for example and then we're going to use this uh, as a location so when we get close to the ground and we start to hit something we want to make sure that uh, the collision capsule gets very close to all um, right on, on on the floor but if we just snap directly to the floor it's going to make a little um, jump in the camera um, so in order to avoid that we want to um, use a vector interrupt uh, to get this so if this is true we're going to set this uh, capsule location to something else uh, and it's going to be the from the hit uh, here we can drag out okay I'll get rid of this okay so it's going to have a location for us which is going to be the impact point and we uh, I'm gonna plus that with the uh, with the offset. And then we're gonna use that as our capsule location. <clears throat> okay. Um and then the trick is to say um we wanna um drive our set our line location um so set this um and we want to set this from both of them uh, and connect this one up so uh, we can come back again so this one is going to be the location that we uh, want to set so here comes our v in type 2 and it's going to be, um, well, the target is going to be uh, the capsule location. And, oops, so there was the current. Okay, and the current is going to be the, um, the line location, I guess. And the delta time is going to be this one and we want this to keep up uh, with the uh, get to the line location pretty fast so just going to give this 25 or something um, now to begin with uh, we won't have a line location so um, we kind of need to update and make sure that this line location is on top of us um, when we start out. Um, <clears throat> and a 
good place to get this is to say if we are not in a ragdoll state uh, then we make sure to update this um, this location constantly so um, let's say that we can drag let me check okay, so the line location we're gonna set if we are not ragdolling um, and we're gonna set that to the value of the pelvis <clears throat> actually if we're gonna set that to the value of the pelvis plus um, our offset Okay, it's getting a little bit crammed in here. Um, we can just move some of this stuff. Okay. Uh, I think that should work. Let me test this. Um, I'm not really sure if it's visible, but um, as you can see now, the the capsule stays. Um, on the ground and not um, at the hip um, so well there's a little bit bit of a lag behind um, I, which I think is because uh, maybe this one needs to go a little bit up 30 Okay. Anyway, I think this is a bit better. So, um, I think that's it for this video. I will uh, see if I can uh, come up with some uh, more interesting stuff in the next. I think I have an idea to uh, what this is going to be about. Um, but um, yeah, thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video. So, bye bye.